trying on an anklet by Nick Nat Fit because I got to walk y'all through everything. And I don't blame y'all because I'm a visual learner. So I got y'all. So starting off with the non-stretch anklets, you're going to release that slip knot like you would do a regular waist bead. Honestly, it's the same steps as following, in the, following a waist bead tie on. You're going to move the beads to the middle of the string so that you have um string left over on both ends then you're gonna take that anklet y'all i know i got hair on my legs but i'm human let me live and yes we doing this on the shoe dazzle box mind your business but basically you're gonna put that anklet around your waist i mean around your ankle because we're talking about ankles today um and figure out exactly where you want it to fall push any excess beads that you don't need towards the end of the string and you start tying that thing you start tying that thing it is no fancy type of tie that you gotta do you just gonna tie it like you tying your shoe and you trying to run away from somebody okay you're gonna tie it and you're gonna tie it as much as you want to until your heart is fulfilled with every desire that you need out of this anklet okay so you're just gonna tie and you're gonna tie and once you're done you're gonna take that handy dandy glue that you already know comes in every order and you're gonna seal that knot make sure you're not you don't get it on your foot because we will not get we will not be held accountable okay i i dropped it on myself and i'm not even holding myself accountable but when once you're done, you cut that bad boy off and you're a bad bit. You're a bad bit, okay? Moving on to the elastic anklet, boy. It's almost the same steps. But honestly, this one is a little more simpler because you don't have to choke yourself trying to hold your ankle up. Okay, so you're going to push the beads to the middle of the string like we did before. Then you're going to size your ankle. You're trying to figure out exactly where you want that bead to fall. If you have excess beads, you're going to push them towards the end of that string. And then guess what? Guess what? You're going to take that bad boy off. You're going to take that bad boy off. And you're going to tie that anklet off your ankle, okay? You heard right. You heard right. Tie it off your ankle. And you're going to just tie the regular knots like we just did with the non-stretch cord. Ain't nothing fancy dancy around here. We're just tying it. We're tying it like we're tying a shoe. And you're going to tie it to your heart's desire, okay? Just keep tying it. Keep pulling it. And just make sure you don't leave any gaps between your ankle because you don't want any string showing when you put that anklet on okay so just make sure it's tight and that you are pulling at that knot so that it is sealed and dealed okay and then once you're done and that anklet is sealed you're going to take that that handy dandy glue that comes in every order again and you're going to seal that knot baby you're going to seal it you're going to tap at it so you don't get no glue stuck in your anklet like i did and then you're going to take that ankle and you're going to put it on you're going to put it on that is it that is all look at that ankle it's, it's, it's ready to be hanging over somebody's shoulder